At a time when dinosaurs reigned on Earth, our ancestors remained in the shadows of these giant lizards, and only the extinction of the then owners of the planet gave mammals a chance. At that time, they were quite small animals, but from an evolutionary point of view, they were far ahead of reptiles in many respects. Some of them could even afford to hunt the smallest dinosaurs, and some species successfully continue to exist on Earth today. Today, we will take a closer look at the mammals of the dinosaur era. We will also talk about how their lives changed after the disappearance of these giant lizards. By subscribing to the Age of Dinosaurs channel, you will be the first to know when new episodes about the evolution of the animal world are published. And by leaving comments and liking our videos, you will help promote the channel and expand its audience. Therefore, we urge all viewers to more actively support the creators of the channel. It is believed that the first full-fledged mammals appeared on Earth about 220 million years ago. Not much is known about their appearance and habits. We can definitely say that most mammals of the Mesozoic era were very small in size. Many of them were nocturnal and lived in trees or underground. They descended from reptiles from the order of the Cyadonts, which survived the Great Permian extinction and disappeared only at the beginning of the Cretaceous period. It is highly likely that one of the possible ancestors of mammals was the Cayentitherium. The remains of this animal were discovered in 2000. Their age was about 185 million years. Cayentitherium was the size of a modern cat, and at first glance, it could easily be mistaken for a mammal. Although the skeletal structure of this unusual creature already contained features characteristic of reptiles. Their body was most likely covered with fur, but the absence of ears, larger jaws, and the structure of teeth indicate the Cayentitheria was not considered a mammal. It is noteworthy that along with the skeleton of an adult individual, 38 skeletons of the cubs of this animal immediately fell into the hands of scientists. They were smaller versions of their parents and already had fairly sharp teeth. It even seems that at a young age, they were quite independent, whereas the young of all mammals require parental care for a long time after birth. Such fecundity is not typical for mammals, but for reptiles, such numerous offspring are the norm. Fewer offspring per litter in mammals is associated with energy savings and larger brains in newborn animals. Although some mammals of the Mesozoic era were not much superior to reptiles in this parameter, discovered in Romania, the rodent-like animal had a very small brain, comparable to that of the cynodont. This creature received the name Litoloi tolosephalus, only the olfactory bulbs and the cerebellum of this primitive mammal had increased sizes. This means that it had an excellent sense of smell and coordination. There is a version that the Tolosophalians lived on an island or other isolated territory. The absence of changes in the environment did not require animals to rapidly grow their bodies or brains. This manifestation of dwarfism is characteristic of many isolated populations of mammals. Characteristic representatives of mammals that lived in the shadow of dinosaurs are a Dilodicodon and a Cossophosaur. These were very small creatures. One of them lived in trees like modern squirrels. The other led an underground lifestyle and was in many ways similar to a mole. Adilicodons lived in the Jurassic period approximately 165 million years ago. Their body length was no more than 13 centimeters and weighed only 27 grams. Their paws were equipped with claws adapted for climbing trees. The structure of its teeth of these tiny animals suggested that they ate plant foods. The spatula shape of their incisors suggest that the bulk of their diet consisted of tree bark. 
Such teeth are characteristic of some modern monkeys living in South America. Dacophosauri lived in Asia during the mid-Jurassic period. It did not exceed 9 centimeters in length and only 13 to 17 grams in weight. The structure of the teeth and limbs speaks about the burrowing lifestyle of these ancient mammals. Some of the teeth of the Dacophosaur had a rather primitive structure, but some of them resemble the similar teeth of modern moles in shape and structure. The hands and feet were well adapted for digging. The fingers consisted of only two phalanges and not three as in most mammals. Moreover, the anterior phalanges had a flattened shape. During the time of the dinosaurs, mammals had already begun to explore the aquatic world. Proof of this was the discovery of such a creature as the Castorocauda. The full translation of its species name is a beast with a tail like a beaver, similar to an otter. This animal is just over 40 centimeters long, weighing 500 to 800 grams, lived in China 161 to 614 million years ago. It led a semi-aquatic lifestyle, hunting fish and aquatic invertebrates. The Castorocauda's paws were webbed, and the 20-centimeter tail was flat. Most likely, this animal in its habitat resembled platypuses. He felt unsure on the land. It reproduced by laying eggs and burrows on the banks of reservoirs. But not all mammals at the time were helpless compared to dinosaurs. Some of them were larger in size. They successfully hunted baby and small dinosaurs. Herbivorous animals were also found among them. Repenimum the length of this animal could reach 1 meter and weigh 12 to 14 kilograms. The bones of a young Cytocosaurus were found in the stomach of this Cretaceous predator. But scientists cannot yet say for sure whether Repenimum hunted small dinosaurs or ate dead animals. The structure of its limbs suggested that these animals could not run fast. Its legs were short and widely spaced and its feet were flat. Vintana In 2014, researcher Joseph Sertich discovered in Madagascar the remains of an ancient mammal that lived there at the very end of the age of the dinosaurs, about 66 million years ago. His name means luck in one of the local dialects. Before his discovery, scientists only had isolated teeth and an incomplete jaw of the Vintana. Sertic was able to find a complete skull, which made it possible to more accurately describe this species. Its length was about 50 centimeters, and its body weighed about 9 kilograms. According to available data, it can also be said that it was an herbivore with good hearing and smell. Didelphodon At the end of the Cretaceous period, North America was also inhabited by mammals that were quite large by the standard of that time. Didelphodon was a marsupial about one meter long and weighing more than five kilograms. By all indications, it was an omnivore with fairly powerful jaws. Didelphodon could hunt small vertebrates, split shells of mollusks, or eat solid plant foods. Gobiconodon Animals from this genus, reminiscent of modern opossums, lived in Siberia, China, Mongolia, North Africa, and the United States at the beginning of the Cretaceous period. Their body length was about half a meter, and they weighed up to six kilograms. In all likelihood, they were active predators and fed on smaller vertebrates. Steropodon the oldest Australian mammal currently known to science. It is described from a single piece of jaw with several teeth. The age of these remains is between 100 and 113 million years. They belong to monotremes and a relative of platypuses. The length of his body did not exceed 50 centimeters. 
Hubodans. This small animal lived at the end of the Cretaceous period on the territory of the North American continent. Its weight slightly exceeded 5 kilograms. Moreover, most of its related mammals weighed no more than 200 grams. Having survived the catastrophe that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs, Ubodans began to increase in size. Already at the beginning of the Cenozoic, these animals reached the size of modern beavers. These animals are known from only a tooth found. From it, scientists were able to determine only the body proportions and the estimated diet. In all likelihood, it was an herbivore or an omnivore. Chihuahua At the moment, the only fragment of the lower jaw and the part of the skull of this animal have been found. It was discovered in the Canadian province of Alberta, but researchers claim the Chihuahua is neither a primitive nor a marsupial mammal. As discussed above, it was already a full-fledged placental mammal. By the standards of its time, it was considered quite large. It was not inferior to size in the Didelphodon or the Repenamamus. And his descendants, who appeared after the extinction of the dinosaurs, quickly grew to 100 kilograms. Wind Celeste This supposedly omnivorous mammal lived in South American forests and woodlands. All nine associated finds were made in Argentina. Their ages range from 123 to 130 million years. When Celeste's body length was no more than 29 centimeters and its height was about 7 to 8 centimeters. Oxlest and Cuticlest Not much is known about these related Asian mammals. The first of them was discovered in Uzbekistan and the second in China. Based on scattered small finds of these animals, scientists classify them as omnivorous, mainly eating plant food. Many of the described animals were able to survive the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction. After the extinction of the dinosaurs, they not only grew significantly in size, the diversity of mammal species began to increase. Over time, they were able to occupy almost all of the vacated ecological niches, and some of them, such as platypuses, have remained virtually unchanged since that time, although more than 150 million years have passed since their appearance. We thank everyone who watched our video to the very end. You can learn more about the origin of different types of living beings from previous issues. They also contain information about environmental issues and the relationship between humanity and nature.